We've had a solar thermal system fitted, and the reason why is to reduce our energy costs on gas, because gas was our main form of heating water. It's early days because we've had it installed in November, so we went through the winter months, so that was, it performed. Well, we had some lovely sunny weather. Yes, we did. In the winter. And it performed very well. And an example is today, we've just had two showers this morning, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Long showers, we've got power shower, so it takes a lot of water. And we haven't switched the gas boiler on now for four days. So the sun is doing all the hot water for us, right? Yes, and washing up and everything. And washing like up that. and everything. Yes. When the sun shines, we think, wow, we can save some money yes, because are. the boiler is switched off, totally. We're in Graham and Pauline's airing cupboard where we installed their solar thermal heating system for their hot water. At Eco2 Solar, we like to install things as neatly and as accessible for the customer as possible. So as a result, we tend to put everything as close together as we possibly can. So as you can see here, we've got the cylinder, which contains the hot water generated from the solar heating system. We've also got the pump station here, which is a neat self-contained unit, it contains all of the pumps and controls necessary to run the solar heating system. The way that the system works is that when, when there's solar radiation, in other words, when the sun shines, although it doesn't have to be bright sunshine, it can be cloudy as well. When that happens, there's a sensor on the panel that picks up the fact that there's more heat in the panels than there is in the cylinder, so it brings the pump on. The pump then circulates a fluid within the pipework from the solar panels to the cylinder and back again, which transfers the heat from the solar panels into the cylinder. When the heat drops below a certain level, so the difference in temperature between the panels and the, and the cylinder drops below a certain level, it switches the pump off again so we make sure we don't take the heat out of the cylinder and transfer it back up into the solar panels. We were concerned about the installation because it was in the house. It was water. And I water, don't like change. And you don't like change. Um, disruption. Um, but it's got to be said, it all went so sweetly it wasn't true. It was all over in a day, wasn't it? I it think was, so. Um, it was really... The, the workmen brought uh, sheets and they were all up the stairs, the sheets, they were very, very clean and mm. very, yeah, they very were. good. Yeah. yeah, We didn't really know they'd been. We're very happy with the position of the panels themselves. They went to a lot of trouble. As we can see by them positioned on the roof, they're positioned beautifully in line with the window. That to me is extremely important. Because he's a Virgo, because you see. Because I'm a Virgo. <laughs> no, it is. It looks the whole thing. People don't notice it's there which is the whole point of the exercise. So we're very happy with it. Other solar companies in our experience that we had are quite pushy. They, you know, try everything to get you to buy their product. With Eco2 Solar, I can honestly say that is not the case. I've experienced it with in many situations, but Eco are very, um, everything they tell you is true. And if your house is in the right position, they won't sell you the system. It's as simple as that, and uh, therefore, you know, I can go around, and I have, go around and recommend the Eco2 Solar to anyone. A solar water heating system will typically cost about three or four thousand pounds for a domestic system, which is probably rather less than you might think. What I do on a daily basis as well is to keep a record. If you have your showers in the afternoon, then the savings, what we've found is that I've been able to not put the gas boiler on whatsoever, uh, for the last four days, for instance, with the sun out, then the gas boiler hasn't gone on at all. So all the hot water for washing up, for showers, everything like that, has all been free hot water, which is great. And it has meant to date that I've now only yesterday reduced the standing order by £10. So it may not sound a lot, but that's a month. And um, I still think I should be able to reduce it even by more than that. There are great savings to be had from a solar heating system. For example, one of our customers recorded a zero gas bill during one summer when we had particularly fine weather. We've also installed a solar heating system at Eco2 Solar for our training and testing purposes, but it also generates all of our hot water for the offices and we found it to be an extremely reliable system.